Hello everyone. First things first, we at Veris really wish that you and your loved ones are safe and well during these testing times. As of March 2020, COVID-19 was declared as a global pandemic by the World Health Organization and uh, since then the world has come to a screeching halt. During this time, humanity at large has come together to practice the tenets of self-isolation and social distancing with the aim of flattening the curve of this contagious COVID-19. During this time, we at Veris have also put our heads together and tried our best to figure out how to navigate through this crisis and this is what we'd like to share with you during this time. Nobody knows when this health crisis will end or how it's going to pan out. But the one thing that we do know for sure that it's the businesses that do not passively react but purposefully engage which will win and truly be able to minimize the jeopardizing impact this crisis will have on its customers, on its employees, on itself and at the community at large. So there are three essentials that Team Veris has identified for how businesses can navigate through this crisis and still minimize impact and come out as unscathed as can be. So here are these three. Essential number one is customer centricity. To really be present and not absent for your customers during this uncertain and testing time. To ask yourself how your customers can best be supported, what are they experiencing at the moment and how can you add value. Coming to the essential number two, which is definitely agility. To really do an agility audit across your organization and ask yourself how agile your team members and processes are. For if crisis were to strike again, how would you be able to better respond to it in a purposeful manner? And finally, the essential number three, which I feel is most high priority, um, would be holding on to hope. And that I feel is most important, which is to really find the three ways in which humanity is showing hope and really empower that across your team members and across your organization and drown out the voices of fear and terror. For nothing great can be built on fear and terror. So, um, as I speak to you, what I'd also like to highlight now is how Veris is using these three tenets to respond to this crisis and really purposefully engage with its customers, employees and the community at large. So, let's follow the same structure with point number one, customer centricity. As you know, Veris is uh, ISO 27001 certified and according to that, it is mandated to have a business continuity plan and so we absolutely do. The great part with Veris has been that we have been absolutely used to and adept as well as efficient at working remotely. So now that our workforces are 100% remote, it, we do not feel or experience any drop. In fact, we feel the same levels of efficiency and productivity that we're really able to offer our customers. So that's the first Veris promise, which is that we are right here day in and day out as we were earlier, there is no difference you will find even if we are miles away on a call or on mail or on a Zoom chat. The next thing that I would like to talk about is um, definitely our agility, which is something that we have in the Veris DNA. I feel it is one of our major core values to go above and beyond for our customers and this is what we have done when um, you know, we were faced with crisis. So while we all were going through the uncertainty and pain, we channelized this pain into something really beautiful and we have put our heads together and come out with a very new feature which is COVID specific. It's called the COVID-19 visitor screening feature which is an advanced and interactive feature we're offering to our customers during this time to really help them to sensitize visitors, to screen visitors during this COVID-19 um, as well as to be able to trace their contacts and really really highlight any exposure that any visitor who walks in might have to illness and also go above and alert your security teams about this. So this is what we have done uh, in terms of our agility. We have also, as uh, you know, as we mapped that the government of India has at many places across states um, started to shun the use of biometric based staff tenant systems across many public sector undertakings. We have strengthened and boosted our facial recognition based touchless staff attendance. We are trying our best and uh, to be agile and we at Veris are always thinking about your welfare. 
The third uh, thing that I would like to talk about is how through social engagement our teams at Paris are constantly uh, sending out messages of hope. We've in fact started something called the Hope Series. We're using hope and humor to spread as much happiness across the globe as possible during this time to the community at large. In closing, I would like to say that the Paris promise of exceptional experience remains and we swear by it. Our teams are right here for any concerns that you may have. We are in this with you and we're stronger together. I would like to say in the end that this too shall pass. We will emerge stronger and till then we just have to work all hands on deck together to flatten the curve, to break the chain and we will emerge victorious. From all of us at Team Veris, stay safe, stay informed, stay healthy.